So a few years ago, I saw this fantastic idea to have a first aid kit mounted to your headrest. And so when I went to research these, I discovered that they were very expensive. So I set out to make my own. There's been a couple of different versions of it that I've done myself, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own. The reason you want a first aid kit on a headrest is that it's going to stay in place and can be reached by just about anybody in the passenger's area of the car. In an emergency, you don't have to dig through the trunk. Everything is in one spot. When your adrenaline is pumping, you're going to need to act, not search your car for your kit. Now, when I first made this video a few years ago, um, I made the first headrest uh, first aid kit for myself out of an old fanny pack. And I'm not gonna link to it in this video because it's kind of rough, but uh, it worked, it functioned. So uh, I thought that was a good idea. But since I made that first version of the headrest first aid kit, my buddy Craig over at High Speed Daddy has come up with this. This is his first aid pouch that he has made. Uh, and the great thing about this pouch is when you open it up and it's hanging, it's not going to spill out. It's made just to open up at this degree and nothing is gonna spill out when you're looking for it if you don't need to take the whole uh, pouch down at one time. You can get your own pouch from High Speed Daddy at the link in the description. In fact, you can get 10% off your order when you use the code SECUREDAD at checkout. Another great feature to this pouch is the Molly webbing. It makes a great place to attach this tourniquet. If you're going to order a tourniquet, order it directly from the manufacturer. So the cat tourniquet comes from North American Rescue. That's where I got mine. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, okay, Andy, so does the high speed daddy pouch attach directly to the headrest? Well, no, it doesn't. So what I've done, so this is the backside of it. And so you've got these great little straps right here. But what I did was I just created my very own very large paracord bracelet. I went to my headrest and I measured the distance around and then I went through and I made my own uh, paracord bracelet that is really large. So it's made to go for the headrest. That's what it's supposed to do. Um, I actually have a whistle buckle on here, uh, which I think is a great addition to have. So you don't have to worry about putting something like that in your kit. It's just right there on what you're going to use to attach the first aid kit to the headrest. If you wonder if the paracord will hold up in the event of a collision, I can attest that it does. I had an earlier version of this headrest first aid kit in my old car when I was in a wreck that totaled my vehicle. There I used the same paracord and the same type of buckle and everything worked just like it was supposed to. In closing, this is a really great setup. You can fully stock your headrest first aid kit with what you need and nothing that you don't. I stock mine for Stop the Bleed and you can customize yours for how you see fit. I really enjoy this kit and I've had several versions of it and I feel that this is the best one, which is why I wanted to share it with you. So there are links to everything that I've talked about in the description below. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and see how this can help you and your family. For more ways to protect your family at home, in public and online, check out thesecuredad.com. Of course, you can also like and subscribe. I'm Andy Murphy with The Secure Dad and I just want to remind you that our safety is our own responsibility.